Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a letter of thanks to the Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Dr. Michel bin Fahim Al Salmi, on the important decision issued by the Arab Parliament in its session on the 4th of July against the politicised and faulty decisions and statements issued by the European Parliament on human rights in the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Majesty expressed his deep appreciation to the prominent role of the Arab Parliament Speaker in enriching the march of joint Arab work and his extensive efforts to defend the interests of the Arab world and support its causes. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to the Arab Parliament for refuting such faulty systematic statements that are issued by some regional organisations, particularly after the issuance of the statement by the European Parliament on human rights in the Kingdom. He praised the stances of the Arab Parliament and his rejection of the interventions in the eternal affairs of Bahrain. His Majesty expressed pride in the support of the Arab Parliament to the security and stability of the Kingdom and the unity of its people. For his part, Dr Al Salmi affirmed the Parliament's pride in supporting the Kingdom, its King and its people against all attempts to threaten Bahrain's security and stability and intervene in its internal affairs or question its judicial decisions therein. He emphasised that such recurring decisions by the European Parliament contradict the principles and purposes of the European neighbourhood policy and are incomparable with the principle of the respect for sovereignty of the state, the inadmissibility of interference in the internal affairs, the right of the states to choose their legal system and the application of the criminal justice and the principle of the independence of the judiciary. The Arab Parliament rejected the European Parliament's handling of sensitive issues which contradicts the principle of international commitment to prevent and combat crime by relying on misleading sources and misinformation without reference to constitutional and executive institutions in Arab countries. Dr Al Sami called on regional institutions and the European Parliament to commit to the principle of partnership that unites Arab and European countries to maintain the common interests of the two sides. He also called into review the stances in human rights in the Arab world by not relying on misleading information from unreliable sources in the light of developments in the Arab world, particularly in the Kingdom, as its security and stability are being targeted by terrorist organisations, supported by countries and regional groups, with the purpose to spread chaos and destabilise the social security and stability in Bahrain and the Arab region. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Gadebia Palace the World Health Organization, the WHO, Regional Director for the Eastern Mediterranean Region, Dr. Ahmed bin Salam Al Mathari. His Royal Highness called for addressing disputes and crises through a more effective political action that abates war dangers and its destructive effects on health conditions, affirming that the Kingdom has achieved developmental goals of the WHO and that the government is keen on adopting initiatives that provide health care for citizens. His Royal Highness highlighted the programmes adopted by the WHO to enhance international partnership in order to develop general health, expressing pride in the high positions held by Gulf Cooperation Council GCC citizens in international institutions and the success they have achieved in the field, which reflects the advanced levels of human resources in the GCC. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister noted the role of the WHO in achieving further coordination with the member states. He stressed the government's keenness on cooperation with the WHO and specialised international institutions to support its goals of healthcare development. He noted that the Kingdom was successful in achieving advanced levels of health development and healthcare, asserting the government's keenness on continuing the development of health services and treatment. For his part, the WHO Regional Director for the Eastern Mediterranean Region stated that Bahrain has always held an advanced status in the regional country's ranking for providing high quality health services, noting the government's continuous cooperation with the WHO in achieving health development.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, received today at Gedebia Palace the Ambassador of South Korea to Bahrain, Ko Hyun Moo, who delivered to His Royal Highness an invitation from the Korean Prime Minister, Lee Nak Yong, to visit the Republic of Korea. They discussed bilateral relations and the desire to support and develop bilateral cooperation at all levels. His Royal Highness affirmed that Korea has achieved qualitative development on the economic, developmental, technological and industrial levels, which strengthened its position internationally. He also affirmed that Bahraini-Korean cooperation has achieved success since its beginning, stressing that Bahrain was one of the first countries of the region to cooperate with Korea. The Prime Minister reviewed with the Ambassador the course of bilateral relations and affirmed Bahrain's keenness on further strengthening cooperation in various fields, expressing pleasure with the development of the Bahraini-Korean relations. He noted that the Bahraini-Korean relations are based on mutual respect and keenness to achieve the interests of both countries and their people. The ambassador expressed the Korean government's admiration for the achievements of Bahrain, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, stressing the continuation of bilateral cooperation to achieve common interests. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Working Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today the Chinese Ambassador to Bahrain, Anwar. His Highness hailed the fraternal ties between Bahrain and China and affirmed the keenness to achieve mutual interests, which is considered a strategic plan to increase youth and sports cooperation and exchange of visits and experiences between the two countries. For his part, the ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his interest to develop bilateral relations, healing the achievements of Bahrain in various fields and its development march, which the government is highly keen on. The Minister of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning, Ism Khalaf, stated that the Ministry is working on 16 projects to alleviate traffic congestion and ease traffic flow as part of the second phase of the Ministry's plan to implement urgent improvement projects. In press statements, the Minister said that six projects are currently being implemented after receiving the approval of the Coordination Committee led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and that the remainder will be implemented in the upcoming period. He added that these projects are the direct result of the directives of the First Deputy Prime Minister's office. A delegation from the King Hamad Global Centre for Peaceful Coexistence and This is Bahrain were invited to the Gita Ashram Temple in Madrid by the local Hindu community. More in this report with Shog Mohammed. A delegation from the King Hamad Global Centre for Peaceful Coexistence and This is Bahrain were invited by the Hindu community in Madrid, Spain to the Gita Ashram Temple to join them in their celebration of religious diversity and freedom. Established in 2009, the Gita Ashram Temple is a central point of practice for Hindus in Madrid. The Hindu members of the delegation were overjoyed at the invitation and were proud to represent the Hindu temple in Bahrain, which has been a significant part of the country for 200 years. It's the first visit, but uh, coming here, I think it is a really, in, uh, what you call, emotional. I'm very, very happy to be here. And after seeing all the deities and including Sikh also and also from church also, Mother Mary's also photos and the statues here. I am really very much happy or say, I can't describe what to say. It's a really a pleasure for us to have the persons coming from Kingdom of Bahrain to this temple. In fact, we believe all religions. 
and this we as you know that is a hindu temple and uh, it's really really a pleasure that the people of bahrain and they are very uh, really it seems that they are also very happy and uh, it's really wel welcome to all all of you the members of the Gita Ashram Temple were very pleased to hear of the religious freedom experienced in Bahrain, which is passionately upheld by His Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. A very good thing we, are, we all have came to know from you guys that you are living together, well, whereas Christians, Muslims, Hindus and Sikhs all together. It's very beautiful. The world should know this thing. I think people really know to, they must know all these things. And very nice to know especially in Madrid. We are good to see you, receive you, and nice to have you all. This event is organized by Bahrain, and we are very happy to see you all here in Madrid with our, in our temple. And uh, we hope that the message what we are getting from Bahrain is very nice for humanity and the global peace. Uh, we will achieve uh, peace and harmony with uh, every type of people and all sorts of religion uh, will be very comfortable and I hope that uh, we all should follow what the last night King of Bahrain gave us message to all of us. So long and live we, the <coughs> we have to uh, follow the message of your King and uh, very nice and long live uh, long Kingdom Bahrain. of Bahrain. Stay in the same way Hindus, Muslims, Christians, Sikhs, Buddha, Jews, Baha'is, everybody are first the human beings. And human values are the best values. If the person understands that human value, then all the differences are all automatically gone. We here from Bahrain, which gives another pride that always stayed there as a one family. And if we say one family, means a family which is of all the differences, differences, Hindus, Muslims, Christians. Religious freedom is a wall in the face of terrorism and hatred, and this was shown by the visit, which united people of multiple faiths and multiple cultures under one roof to share in the spirit of peace and love. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shogh Mohammed.